In this exercise, we'll work with some rational expressions. The directions tell us to perform the indicated operations and simplify. In this case, the indicated operation is subtraction. We'll be subtracting this rational expression from this rational expression. In order to subtract, we need to have a common denominator. So let's begin by factoring the denominators in order to find a common denominator. Factoring the first denominator, we have x plus 5 times x plus 6. Factoring the second denominator, we have x plus 4 times x plus 5. The least common multiple will then be x plus 5 times x plus 6 times x plus 4, which means that I need to multiply the first rational expression by x plus 4 over x plus 4, and the second by x plus 6 over x plus 6. Writing that out, that gives me x over x plus 5 times x plus 6 times x plus 4 over x plus 4 minus 5 over x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6 over x plus 6. Now performing those multiplications, I have x times x plus 4 minus 5 times x plus 6. And since I have a common denominator, I can write that all over the common denominator, x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6. Now I transfer this, that last line, to a new sheet of paper. x times x plus 4 minus 5 times x plus 6 all over x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6. And now I can work on simplifying the numerator. I first multiply and I get x squared plus 4x minus, and I use parentheses here, 5x plus 30. Whenever you're subtracting, be sure to use the parentheses or it's easy to forget to change all the signs. And that's all over x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6. Now I can remove the parentheses, and that gives me x squared plus 4x minus 5x minus 30 all over x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6. And finally, to simplify the numerator, I can combine like terms 4x minus 5x would give me minus x. So I have x squared minus x minus 30 over x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6. Now the denominator is factored. Can I factor the numerator? Well, I can, and so I'm going to factor and see if I can simplify. Here is the expression we have. Let's factor the numerator. The numerator factors into x minus 6 times x plus 5. And all that is over the denominator x plus 5 times x plus 6 times x plus 4. Now the numerator is factored and the denominator is factored, so I look for common factors. x plus 5 is a factor that's in the numerator and in the denominator. So I can cancel them or think of removing a factor equal to 1. And I can write as the simplified form of the answer what's left in the numerator, x minus 6, over the factors left in the denominator, x plus 6, x plus 4. 
There's no need to multiply this out. We can leave it in factored form, and this is the simplified form of the answer.